Hi, Story Gordon here. How's it going? Me too. It's going. It just keeps going. This video is about wording, first mode of speaking, because if your audience doesn't understand your words, your message is wasted, simply a sound stream disturbing the peaceful quietude of the universe. Got it? One more time. This video is about wording, the first mode of speaking, because if your audience doesn't understand your words, your message is wasted. Simply a sound stream disturbing the peaceful quietude of the universe. A great speaking coach, Ron Arden, implored us to make sure the audience got it all in, which is more important than the speaker getting it all out. I'm disturbed today by how so many very good speakers do not understand wording, which has three fundamental qualities, pronunciation, cadence, and emphasis. Pronunciation, enunciation, elocution, accentuation, intonation, articulation. It goes by many words, but the point is, the word is said so the audience understands what it is. Cadence, words per minute. How fast we talk, how slow we talk. Unless you're doing rap or hip hop, it's important that you not speak faster than the audience can hear. That doesn't mean you have to speak slow all the time. There are times to speed up to make a point and there are times to slow down. And especially there are times to go very slow, pause, give the audience a chance to get the message and think about it. Thirdly, emphasis. Emphasis strictly means saying words with appropriate effect so that the audience understands which ones may be more important than others. It also means not speaking in a monotone. Joe Calloway used a simple device in some of his speaking where he took this simple phrase, I never said he stole money, to illustrate the importance of emphasis by highlighting one word in the phrase. I never said he stole money. 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 Emphasis is very important. And included with emphasis is repetition. The idea that when we say something important, we want the audience to get. It may be appropriate to say it again. For example, the first motivational phrase I remember from my early life is my mom saying, every time I left home, Gordon, be good and have fun. I do not know why that is burned into my brain. I think it's because she said it so many times, I'll never forget it. Gordon, be good and have fun. Well, that's it. The whole idea of wording is to say what you have to say distinctly, clearly. Not so fast they can't get it and not so slow that they lose attention. It's important, however, to do it well. If you want to do it well, work on it. Record your voice. Listen to how you're saying different words and maybe get a speaking buddy, someone you can work with where both of you can work on your wording. Also, listen to some of the greats and go out and listen to some of the TED Talks. Some of the TED Talk speakers have a great message, but their wording is not up to par and you have to strain to understand what they're trying to say. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll come and see me again. This is Story Gordon saying, I'll see you next time.